Hi, welcome to the Craft Channel. My name's Corin Brad, and today I want to talk to you about heat transfer vinyl, which is something probably most of you have heard of, perhaps had to play around with, so that you can create garments and um, drinks bottles and things like that with a, a design that is heat transferred on from a vinyl sheet. But if you've had a bit of a play around with it and you've done it at home domestically with an iron, Sometimes it's a bit hit and miss. You don't really know what temperature your iron is. You don't really know how long you need to press it for, which is where the Happy Press 4 comes into play because it's a desktop sized piece of kit, but it does make your life much, much easier. So there's a couple of bits I want to show you on this. Um, first of all, you have the pull out tray, which is perfect that you can arrange your materials on there and then tuck them in before you bring the lid down. There is also an adjustable knob on the top here. Um, it does wind up and down a great deal. You want to avoid using that if possible. Once you've got it set for the material that you want, it would simply be a matter of perhaps half a turn clockwise or anti-clockwise to accommodate a slightly thinner or a slightly thicker material. If you were going to put something like a wooden chopping board underneath it, you might be better considering using just ordinary self-adhesive vinyl rather than HTV. So I'm going to show you how the control panel works. When you first plug your machine in, it will show 93 degrees centigrade as a standard. And it will stay at 93 until it heats up to 93 and then it will gradually click up. So you can change your temperature and you can change your time setting like this. So the control panel is here on the back of the machine. Now you can only adjust the settings once the um, heat press is up. And quite simply what you do, I mean this at the minute has warmed up to 153, but if you need to change the settings, you press the mode button and it will light up your top plate and you should have two lights here, which means that you can increase or decrease the settings for the temperature. If you press mode again, it will show you the time that it's going to go for. Again, you can increase or decrease. Once you're happy with it again, press the mode button. That will light up the lower platen, um button, which we don't have a heated lower platen on this. So just press it again and it's ready to go. So, at the minute it's showing 152 because it's been sat here for a while. It's just gone over that 150. If I bring it down, it will then count down the 10 seconds and beep at you and you know that your HTV is cooked. So, very simple to use. If you pull out the padded tray from underneath, and you grab yourself your chosen t-shirt. Slip it over the tray. And try and get it as central on there as you can. Because if you can get your garment on there centrally, it will really help you position your vinyl centrally. What I'd suggest you also do is pre-press your garment just at that 150 for 10 seconds because that means you've got a completely flat surface that you're working on. And I'm going to transfer a two-part vinyl onto this and what I will do is I will actually put a template in the description below so you can down your own download your own copy of this moth um, and you can if you like this design cut it yourself so we'll position this in the middle of the front of the t-shirt and this is using the um, happy flex vinyl so it's got a certain degree of stretch to it so you can use it on cotton jersey um, materials like this I'm also just going to grab a sheet of greaseproof paper to put over the top of it 
It's not always necessary when you're first doing it, but I like to be on the safe side. We'll pop it in there and bring the lid down for 10 seconds. Now, I'm just going to check with the Happy Flex, what you need to do is you need to peel away the backing while it's still hot. So pull this out, grab the corner of it and simply peel that backing off. And then what I'm going to do again is just put that under for a couple of seconds. Just to check that that t-shirt has returned to the stretch that it was. Because I'm going to take this second overlay in another colour. And fit it over the top of my background colour as accurately as possible. And you want to try and avoid moving the t-shirt because this design has been made so that it fits exactly onto the bottom one. If you stretch your t-shirt out, what you might find is you stretch the design. So we're just going to let that cook for 10 seconds. and bring it out and again it's a hot peel on this take it out take your t-shirt from your bottom plate and there you've got that moth design perfectly layered onto the t-shirt so that's using the happy flex but they also do another range, well, several other ranges of vinyls. We've got um, fashion, we've got flock, we've got glitter. The majority of them all um, bake on 150, degree, 150 degrees centigrade, with the exception of the happy flock, which needs 165 degrees centigrade. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, but for example, the glitter... Grab yourself a, another t-shirt. And this is perfect. If you want to set yourself up in a, like a small business, do it relatively easily. And if you, you know, if you want to do it as a trial, all these t-shirts that I've got here, I've picked up for a quid, not a quid for all of them, but they're a pound in a charity shop. It gives you and most of them are brand new, so it gives you things to practice on, to try your ideas out on, to show your friends, to see if what you're producing is likely to appeal. Um, I think like these cogwheels. Now these have been simply cut out on a electronic die cutting machine. Um, the great thing about both the glitter and the flock is if you're like me and you need two pairs of reading glasses to thread a needle, sometimes when you cut a design out with a cutting machine onto HTV, you cannot for the life of you see where you cut. And you can't see where you need to start weeding out that design. Um, I have tried a method, I don't know if you can see it here because I've weeded it out now, where what I've actually done is I've put a pen in the cutting machine and I've drawn the design first of all in a permanent marker and then I've cut it so that I can see where the holes are supposed to be and I know where I can start weeding but with the glitter and the flock because it's a thicker vinyl it's so much easier to see where your cut lines are and it makes weeding things out really easy so we're just going to pop this to the right hand side push it in set it down and say this is glitter I think glitter is 10 seconds I'm just going to double check that yep and again it is a hot peel process so pull it out and peel it off so there and the glitter is great it doesn't shed 
um, quite often, I mean, you know, it's one of those things normally you play with glitter and then you find glitter on yourself for the next four days. I've given that a good rub over. Nothing's come off on my hands. Um, let me show you now the flock. And the flock does take a little bit more in the way of heat. But first of all, I'm just going to press this and apply a background um, of white flex. It is just a white disc. So we'll have this white disc in the center top of the t-shirt. And fuse it in place. And as I say, for the flock, I need to set it at 165 degrees centigrade and it needs to be on there for 15 seconds. So let's just peel that off because I need a hot peel on that. And let me just adjust the temperature control. So mode for the heating I want to go to 165 and for the time I want 15 seconds and I just need to leave that for a minute or so just to heat up to the correct temperature but I'll just show you the flock design that I've cut out which is going to overlay onto this white circle. I'm just going to put my glasses on to check that I've got it overlaid properly. We'll just leave it on there and put this second sheet on top. And while that's just heating up to the correct temperature, I just want to point out that this does make life so much easier because if you can sit down one day and you can cut all your designs out, you can decide what colours you want, you know, what materials you're going to use them on and you can set yourself up then one afternoon, turn your heat press on, get all your materials together and then instead of sitting there laboriously ironing and worrying if it's shifted, because you... that's the other thing, sometimes when you iron heat transfer vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, if you're not careful, you might shift it slightly. It, you know, if you're, especially if you're doing double patterns. With this, because the press comes down straight vertical on top of it, there's no shift. You know, the platen is very solid, the press is very solid, so you get perfect results every time. Um, so if you're setting up a small business or you already have a small business and you just want to produce things quicker and more easily, then I would suggest this Happy Press 4 um, will change your life. Um, the, this is an A3 size one, or just slightly undersized A3. They do do an A4 size one. Depends on what it is that you're making. If you're just using small logos, then you could get away with an A4. If you're doing big designs, wide designs, you want to go for the larger machine. So I'm just going to check my temperature. 166, that'll do. What you'll find is as you bring the press down, the temperature will drop because obviously it's transferring heat from this top hot plate to the platen at the bottom. So this will come down for 15 seconds. There you go. And also, this is a cool peel. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off the base plate, plate, off the base plate, and just give it a bit of a waft to cool it down. And while I'm waiting for that to cool, and while my machine is set at 165, I'm going to put another t-shirt on here and show you that you can not only can you overlay flock onto flex you can overlay glitter onto flex you can also lay fashion onto flock um, there's there's all kinds of um, combinations that you can use and um, what I'd suggest you do is if you've got an old scrappy old t-shirt and you're not sure what you can do 
this one here that I've made is just overlaying different types of HTV onto each other along with a transfer which is something I'll tell you about in a minute and this is this is my rough t-shirt this is my practice t-shirt for trying things out on right this has cooled down sufficiently so I'm just going to peel the backing from this and that's come out really well actually and it's got that quite tactile feel to it and let's just put that one to one side and then I'm going to overlay some fashion onto flock so this is going to be quite um, subtle this background flourish because I've done it like a pinky red on an orange press it down for 15 seconds at 165 degrees centigrade that's baked and again that's a cold peel so I'm going to leave that there and because I want to put this holographic fashion over the top of it I need to drop the temperature of the press back down again to 150 if so we press mode drop it down to 150 drop the time back down to 10 seconds and leave that to cool down a minute now normally what I'd suggest is that you leave your t-shirt on here if you're doing layered designs because I just want to cool that press down a little bit quicker I'm just going to fetch it down on itself a couple of times so that there's some of the heat in that top heating plate transfers to the bottom plate and I'll do that a couple of times until it's reached the correct temperature at the minute it's still showing 163 degrees centigrade I think from memory this actually cools down slower than it heats up so while we wait for that to cool I'm just going to put the t-shirt back on the bottom plate but now the t-shirt itself has cooled I can peel the backing film from the flock design say this is a flock design it wasn't a flock design at all it was just the same colour as a flock it's actually um, the normal happy flex but that just goes to prove that even if you accidentally do happy flex on a higher temperature it doesn't harm it So let's just pop that back over the top let's give it a quick press again just to check it's completely flat And the temperature is now hundred and fifty two. That's close enough. Take your fashion, pop it onto your design more or less centrally. And what you'll find is the carrier film of these heat transfer vinyls has got a certain amount of tack to it which is very handy because it means it will hold it in place what you do just want to check especially if you have a household that has animals in it is that you haven't got something like dog hair caught under the vinyl it's all right if it's stuck to the back of the carrier sheet because it won't fuse in place but if you've got it 
on the back of the vinyl, it's stuck on the back of the vinyl forever, and it will be on your t-shirt forever. So we'll just press that, and um, the Happy Fashion, again, is a cold peel. So we'll take that off there. And while that's cooling down, I just also want to say that if you haven't got an electronic cutting machine to do your work for you, there is no reason why you can't get yourself a sheet of vinyl and cut your own designs just simply with scissors. Uh, I mean, for example, you can fold this in half and cut a heart shape from it. That's the most rubbish heart shape I've ever cut. I'm going to do that again. That's better. And for example, I'm just going to use this uh, scrappy t-shirt. It's my practice t-shirt. Make sure there's no fluff. Take your heart. Position it wherever you like. And because this, is, this has already got vinyls on it, make sure you do put that protective sheet of grease, grease proof paper over the top of it. Um, just so that it doesn't pre, like reheat the existing vinyl. And then, now this is cooled down. I can peel away the happy fashion. So you've got just a always design on the front of that. And with this one, you can just simply find the backing fabric at the backing film with your fingers and lift it off. And as you can see on here, the happy flex will cover the glitter and the flock and just one other thing while I'm here they do do now a sheet of what's called transfers happy transfers so if you want to do multicolor designs and you really don't want to cut out one shape from green one shape from blue one shape from pink you can get these transfers on a sheet and you can get like a 55 centimeter square sheet and you can put as many designs on there as you can fit on that sheet for one cost and it can print out in as many colors as you like and the transfer sheet works pretty much the same as vinyl but we'll just pre-press this side of the t-shirt so, as you can see, this way up you've got your design. The white side is the side that you put against your t-shirt. You take the dog hair off your t-shirt. Pop your transfer on there. While we're at it, we'll put a little another glittery heart on there as well this is going to be the most extensive t-shirt at some point someone's going to wear this cover it all up and the transfers need about 12 seconds it's the same temperature as the happy flex but it's just a couple of seconds more so i haven't bothered resetting the timer on this i'm just going to count two more seconds after the annoying beep has gone off and then lift it up And then I can peel away my heart. And I can peel away my transfer. Like so.
So there you go. It's a real time saver. Um, you get, provided you've done the steps properly in the first place and you've done it correctly, you get perfect results every time. So you can set up your own kitchen table business, producing personalised and customised t-shirts, backpacks, anything really that you can get under this press. And just have a play with vinyl. I mean, vinyl is, is, it's one of those things. I wasn't interested in it originally when it first came out. Didn't think I'd have any use for it. And now I keep looking at things going, oh, I could put a vinyl on that. So there you go. I will put information in the description below about the Happy Press 4. I'll also put a link to the moth template. If you want to use it for your own designs, you're more than welcome to. Um, and at some point, We'll perhaps delve deeper into the world of the transfers and how you can create your own designs and then take a photograph of it, upload it onto their site and it will print out a transfer for you. Till then, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again very soon. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.